everybody, welcome to episode 11, past 10, so yeah, 11 episode, uh, episode 11 of Reading with Callum. Now, you see how this is just glued onto a piece of, two pieces of paper, it's because I was supposed to write, uh, I'm so, I was supposed to write it as a narrative and I ended up typing it on a computer so my mum printed it out and I drew a picture now I wanted to read it to you guys this story is called lost in the forest words and picture by me Riley's family are very adventurous. They like climbing mountains, fishing and camping. Today they decided to go to the forest. Riley is excited to go to the forest because his mum and dad said maybe they could go camping there. They went to the early and Riley and his family started the long drive to the forest. While they were driving, Riley was enjoying looking out, out the window at nice green trees and grey rocks. Riley was so busy looking out the window, he didn't realise that he had his hand on the door handle. When they got to the entry of the forest, they stopped their car to buy a ticket. As they reversed the car, Riley was leaning on the door handle too much and he fell out of the car unnoticed. And he also scratched his, scratched his knee. Riley stood up, took a deep breath and he ran to the car as fast as he could, but couldn't catch them, uh, but couldn't catch his mum and dad because his knee was hurting too much. So Riley sat in front of a tree waiting for someone to help him. He was a little bit worried that no one was going to help. But just then, another car drove past him. Riley yelled out for them to stop. Then then out came a nice family and they decided to help him. Riley, wait, no. Help him find his family. Riley got in their car and they drove around the forest searching for his mum and dad. After a while, Riley finally found his his mum and dad's tent they put up so Riley would know where they are. He hopped out of the car and went up close to the tent. Riley searched inside for his mum and dad but couldn't find them. He looked outside for them but he still couldn't find his pair. But he still couldn't find his I felt nervous and upset. But he didn't know that his parents were looking for him. He turned around to look for them when a shadow appeared. Hmm. Then came two people running towards him, so Riley ran towards them. While he was running, Riley realised that they were his parents. They stopped and gave him a big hug. Then they all walked back to the tent and had a great meal of spaghetti, chatting about what they should do the next day. Once they finished, Riley went to bed and had sweet dreams about being, being very adventurous. The end. I hope you like, I hope you like today's story. It's really fun.
took a lot of time writing it in my book. I like it pretty much as well. Reason why I have this kind of background here is because they're forest animals and my setting is a forest. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if there's a book you'd like me to read.